Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 91 of Last FIFA 14 and for the final 10 episodes of the series we'll be using this skill goal award and that is basically that we'll get 50,000 coins for each skill goal we use and a, a score and I'm basically thinking that at episode 100 we're gonna finish it all off, we're gonna build a crazy squad, try and have Ribery, Slatan and Ronaldo into the same side and just uh, build uh, one crazy team with a bunch of skillers and uh, yeah, that's kind of the thing I'm building up towards with this rule. And uh, yeah, as I said, I, I'm thinking episode 100 will be the big finale. And all the way up until then, we'll get a bunch of coins for each skill goal we score. So uh, in this episode, we are building a new squad. And I wanted to try Ronaldo out as a striker just to see how he plays there. He will be playing on 6 chemistry, which... To be honest, is a quite all right, especially when it is Ronaldo. He doesn't really need the chemistry to play well because he's just so good on the game. And it's a bit of a mixture of La Liga, Premier League and um, and uh, League 1 players we're getting into the side. And uh, I actually had to uh, quick sell some of the random non-rare gold players I had in my club. I had some from some packs and I never really sold them all and just sent them to the club. And... I had to quick sell them just to get the final coins to pick up some position modifiers and I couldn't really sell them on because they're not really worth anything so yeah I just quick sold them got the final coins to finish up the squad and this is a pretty much the team so in the net we do have a Sirigu and he is a good keeper on the game at least the best league one keeper in my opinion we got Thiago Silva and David Luiz in on the center backs Michael Richards on the right back one of my favorite players to play there on the right back spot, uh, very very solid, Marcelo on the left back there, a good player to support, uh, to act as support in the attack, uh, forward Rodriguez and Ronaldo, then we do have Modric on the left center defensive mid spot and we are going to convert him into a center defensive mid, just to get that 9 chemistry out of him and uh, yeah he is a very good player on the game, got some decent defending stats but really uh, if you know me you know when I play a 4-2-2-2 I like at least to have one or maybe maybe two of the center defensive mid to be a little bit attacking because they will both by default stay back quite a bit and if they then push up afterwards I'm quite happy with that. We got Mascherano in there to link up with Neymar and Aguero. Aguero on the center attacking mid he got some very good stats. Rodriguez on the left center attacking mid and of course his stats are not that great compared to all of his informs but I want to give his Real Madrid kind of go and get that strong link going to Ronaldo on the top. Then we do have a name, a 5-star skill, this is a 5-star weak foot and is one of my favorite players. And finally, Ronaldo there, he's on 6 chemistry, he could bump up to 7 if you have the loyalty chemistry. But uh, what I usually tend to do is whenever I stream on my other account, I transfer Ronaldo over and that way he does not have the, the loyalty chemistry at this point in time. But nonetheless... We are going to play a game. We're trying Ronaldo out as a striker with six chemistry. And I do think, I do think it'll work out quite all right. So, we go into the Champion Shield tournament. It is the round of 16th. And look at that team. A few team of the season. Man of the match play in form. Neymar, Xavi, and yes. Just a very strong La Liga side. We get our first chance in the first minute. He made a mistake. I picked the ball up. And I tried to go with a few skills and get a shot in. Instead... I end up picking up a yellow card with Ronaldo, terrible star, but after that we got a few more skill moves going, it's Ronaldo on the ball, we do end up losing possession, but I will pick it up again somehow, and this time around I just thought, let's just take the goal, instead of being fancy, let's just get the lead, go up 1-0 and see if we can apply some more pressure, here we hit the post with Ronaldo from a nice free kick, unlucky, not to get the goal, and a few minutes later, he breaks on through again, a dummy past the fender, he runs on through, past the keeper, I tried for the bonus finish, and I failed it, failed it a big time, so instead, we're into the second half, Ronaldo on the ball here, he goes past two, three defenders, he'll take on a fourth one, a fifth one, but unfortunately, he gets back, and he's able to pick the ball up, and then it's Aguero back on the ball, to get me the possession back, past the fender, tries out a shot, but it is saved by his keeper, unfortunately. 55th minute, Ronaldo on the board, breaking on through, trying out the shot, and once again, he will save it. But eventually, from a corner in the 60th minute, we find Aguero, we take the shot, and it goes into the bottom corner to make it 2-0. It's good I got that goal, because you play a through ball, and Diego Costa, just too strong. He's able to just get it over the line, in off the post to make it 2-1, but the game was not quite over, Ronaldo goes past two defenders, makes his way into the box, stops up, past another one, and he will make it 3-1, finally get me that skill goal in this match, 
and after that my opponent decided to rage quit. I was a little bit disappointed after the game because I felt I had some good chances going, but I could only get one skill goal in the end. But still, it was an alright goal there, and it will move on through into the quarterfinals of the tournament. And once again, I face a crazy La Liga side. You got Ronaldo, Neymar, I guess it was Team of the Season at uh, on the top as well. But we played 40 minutes. I break on through with Ronaldo. I score a little skill goal there to make it 1 0. But then uh, I make a big mistake here in the 57th minute. I saw an open Neymar. I tried to throw it to him, but he was able to get there with Fabregas headed back to an open Neymar. And he gets a goal. Stupid mistake from me. I didn't pay enough attention to the Raider to see he had a player close to Neymar when I tried to throw it out. And in the end, he would win it on what he's, he pretty much did the entire game. Just cross it and cross it and cross it. And he got a back post header there in extra time. I tried to get back with Ronaldo. We hit the post though. And on the rebound with Aguero, we cannot get it over the line. So in the end, I lose 2-1 to unfortunately. And it was a game I didn't really want to lose to be fair. Um... But he did have a lot of chances. I didn't create too much. He had a solid defense and he had just crosses going in all game long. And luckily, I didn't concede more headers than just that final one. But I lose, unfortunately. And I had to jump back into the tournament. I wanted to play one more game with the team. I didn't want to end it off on a loss. But yeah, Serie A just down the wing. Cross it, cross it, cross it. That was my next opponent. We played 14 minutes. We get a shot and we tried to get the rebound. But what a save. Get another chance. 24th minutes. Aguero on the ball. It breaks on through into the box. And we're able to get... Nope, we're not. Apparently, I made a foul there. I don't know how that was a foul, but unfortunately, I couldn't get the goal. A completely open shot for Neymar. But in the end, it's a bit of a rebound with Neymar that makes it 1 0 in the 43rd minute. But into the next half, he would eventually score that header. And look at that celebration. It's just shushing me all the way up to uh, the halfway line and then going with the I can't hear your celebration. He's like one of those guys you just know. Which is always annoying to play against. But after that, I really wanted to win the game. And I get my luck here. Dummy, I picked the ball up and I got the goal with Ronaldo. And that was just a really nice feeling after I went with that celebration earlier. So I win the game at 2-1 to one, quite late there with Ronaldo. And uh, throughout this entire episode, we managed to get two skill goals. One in the first game, one in the second game. And that does mean that we will get an extra 100,000 coins into our club and we're going to continue with these rules throughout the next uh, I guess eight nine episode as episodes as I said in the start of this episode and right now we're sitting on 12 wins two losses and we're going to see if we can continue winning some games in the next episode and that is it pretty much all thank you for watching guys I'll be back soon again and that's all I'll talk to you later <laughs>